Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on The Sun Lens, I'm going to do a test that I've been wanting to do forever. I really am curious about the intensity of LEDs. I'll go to shows and people will show me a new LED and they'll say, well, it's about, about like a 1K. Everyone will ask that question, well, how powerful is it? How bright is it? So we're going to just look straight up at a 1K, a 2K, and a 1200 HMI as our test rabbit. Those are kind of the three lights that people have used on set forever. Uh, they're uh, standards in the industry, and that'll give us kind of our, our baseline, and then we'll test all the LEDs, starting with obviously with a sky panel uh, past that to be able to see how bright those uh, LEDs are and how they stack up to 1K, 2K, and a 1200 HMI. Now, our camera readings today are going to be, I'm going to be at 800 ISO. I'm using 1 60th of a second because it's an old meter, and it doesn't have a 50th on it, it has a 60th. And then from there, I'll just take a meter reading at um, 8 feet, 12 feet, and 16 feet. And we'll see how the light falls off and just see exactly what those do. Are you ready to make money in video? We're ready to teach you how. There's more demand than ever for video content and everyone you know is probably looking for someone to do it for them. We've got a great video basics download for you that'll help get you started on that road and help you make money in video. So go to theslantedlens.com and purchase your download today. So I'm back from Wood Nickel. I mean, I just walked over there this morning and shot all this stuff and now I'm back in the studio. Actually, I shot it yesterday, but uh, I'm back here now. Uh, the next day and I've looked at all the results and I've typed them up in my sheet right here on all of these different LEDs and how they compare to a 1K. The reason I chose a 1K, a tungsten 1K, to compare all these lights to is because that's just the light I'm used to working with. It's what I learned on at Art Center. It's a tungsten 1K. I'm used to the output and I just kind of compare everything to that. I mean, a lot of people, younger people, are probably not going to compare it on that same basis, but I think it's a great comparison. When I go to shows, I hear people asking all the time, well, how's it compared to a 1K? I mean, it's just kind of the standard. So we're using a tungsten 1K as our standard. A couple of things I have to just kind of bring up first, and that is I'm looking at a 1K flooded because when you spot it, it just turns it into a different animal. We're not putting any kind of, of uh, focusing uh, devices on any of these lights. So they're very generally kind of open, broad lights. So I chose to compare them to a flooded 1K. So let's get started. Number one, a regular flooded 1K at eight feet is 8.7, F8.7. So now if I look at the very, if I go on to some of these other lights, it's fascinating to me. When I put an HMI 1200, it's four and a half stops brighter than that. I mean, the HMIs are hugely bright. Hugely bright? Bigly bright. Big, big bright. Much bigger brighter. They're hugely brighter. They're a lot brighter. I mean, they really are. They, are. they are so much brighter. A Joker 800 is five stops brighter than a flooded. This is, a, this is with no lenses on it. This is just bug bulb, you know, you're not doing any kind of lens on it. It's just a straight up, you know, uh, HMI 1200 or Joker 800. Now, if I go to Sky Panel, which is the holy grail of all LEDs, the Sky Panel S60 is 0.2 uh, tenths of a stop brighter than a flooded 1K, 0.2. So it's very similar to a 1K, pretty much a 1K. If I go to a Sky Panel S30, it's a stop darker than a 1K. It's 1.1 minus 1.1 from a 1K. So it's it's a stop, basically a stop darker than a 1K. If I go to a Light Panel Astra, those are very powerful lights actually, and I was very impressed with them. They're a little plasticky. Uh, they are straight LEDs. They're not diffused at all. It's about the equivalent of a um, flooded 1K. It's a 0.1 plus 0.1. So basically, I mean, the variable of meter and everything else is about a, about a equivalent to a 1K, a light panel's Astra. A Kinoflow Freestyle, it was way under. It's like 2.4 stops under a flooded 1K, but it also has a diffusion on it. And that's something you have to take into consideration because that diffusion on front of there is built in, but it gives you a much softer light and you don't have to put any kind of uh, diffusion on it. You don't have to put a softbox on it. You don't have to do those kinds of things to give yourself a softer, nicer looking light. So that's built in with a Kino Freestyle 21. A silk light, which is a light I have used here for, by Roscoe for a long time. It was minus 2.4 uh, stops under a flooded uh, 1K, 2.4 stops. So it's very similar to your, uh, it's almost exactly the Kino Freestyle 21. So these are diffused soft LEDs made to be able to use just right out of the box without any kind of diffusion or soft box. And those two fell kind of in the same category. So it's a Silk 210 uh, light that uh, I've had for a while and I really liked. 
Now, if you go to like the light mats, uh, they're really interesting. So a light mat uh, plus two, my light gear, it was it was minus two stops off from a flooded uh, 1K. Minus two stops. I was surprised by that. But you know, you have, this is straight up LEDs. There's no diffusion on that. It was minus two stops from a, a flooded 1K. In Telexx version, the uh, light cloth LC160 two by two. So it's very same uh, footprint. Uh, it was a uh, 1.5 stop, so a stop and a half under a flooded uh, 1K, whereas the uh, light mat plus two was two stops under a flooded 1K. All right, so now when we get into what I think are really, really viable lights, and that is your single LED uh, Bowens mount. You got the Aperture Lightstorm 300D. It was a half a stop under a flooded um, 1K. That's pretty powerful. Uh, it really is. So it's about a half stop under a flooded 1K. The Aperture Lightstorm 120D first generation was a stop and a half under a flooded 1K. Now I know the Lightstorm 120D generation two is quite a bit brighter. I would guess it's gonna be a stop or a little less than a stop under a 1K, but I don't know, we didn't test it, so I'm not sure on that. We had the opportunity to test two of Mole Richardson's Fresnel lens um, lights. These are great lights because they're really just like a one or a 2K. There's a Mole Richardson 200 watt junior LED. It's an eight inch. Uh, we did that on flood 11.1 which was a 0.4 plus uh, over a 1k i leave it to mole richardson they really would if they're gonna make a 1k they make a 1k you know it's actually a 0.4 brighter almost a half a stop brighter than a flooded 1k on flood all right then our mole richardson 400 watt junior led 10 inch on flood was 0.8 so almost a stop brighter uh, but pretty close to about the same as a 2K, uh, just right in the same category as a 2K. So this just gave us a chance. Intensity is not the only way to choose a light. It truly isn't. Ease of use, cost, uh, your specific application. You know, a light mat is going to be something you can put in the ceiling and put right directly on the ceiling. If you have a low ceiling and a hard place to get into, it's very easy to use. Whereas you can't put a 2K or, you know, a, a, a Mole Richardson 400 watt junior up there it's just never going to work so it really is about application whether you travel with these whether you are on a truck and on set with them you know whether you just do small interviews but this was just a way for us to take a look at intensity because everyone's always asking me well how how intense is it or you know and that's the first thing i ask and so people, what do people do they shine it against the wall well see that pretty darn bright isn't it well yeah but what does that mean i don't know what that means you know so i just decided to put a meter on it give us some idea of exactly what the intensity tests are. We're going to do more of this in the future. I think I'll try to do it by categories, light mats versus small LEDs versus uh, those kinds of uh, comparisons. So I can get smaller groups and talk a little more about each of the lights and how they compare with one another. So there you have it. If you like the things we're doing here at the Slant Lens, subscribe to the Slant Lens. Get over to theslantlens.com where you can sign up to get our newsletter. You can do all the things that will make you a part of our community. You also have our Facebook group, which have a lot of things going on there where people are sharing video and stills and talking about what's happening. When we set up our video website, Morgan Pro Video, we use Squarespace. Why did we use it? Because it was just easy to load the video. They had great templates that look fabulous, they look up to date, and it grows with you. If you want to add a store, if you want to add galleries, have all of those things you can wrap into your website. It's just a great platform that grows with your business. So squarespace.com, get a free trial. So there you have it. Intensity comparison with LEDs, so keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking.